This episode is brought to you by Dora and the Lost City of Gold. See it in theaters August 9th. Hi, I'm Alicia, and we're going on a treasure hunt for strange and mysterious food. We'll make it, taste it, and try to get some awesome pictures of it. Hey, Tess, what are we cooking today? We're decorating edible insects. So today we're eating bugs, but don't freak out. People eat them all over the world. I like them too. So do I. I hug them. And so I ordered some online, and we're going to see what we have. What is this? This one's a mole cricket. Oh, I chopped off his head. This one is a very deformed saga worm. This one's a silkworm. Hey, Tess, why are they called silkworms? Silkworms are the caterpillar stage of the silk moth. Their cocoons are used to make silk. Well, that makes sense. They're worms. They make silk. Okay. And don't they only eat one thing? Yes. Silkworms are fed an exclusive diet of mulberry leaves. Huh, I didn't know mulberries are real. I'm a little skeptical, but they're not even the worst ones. This is a black scorpion. This is a giant water scorpion. And these right here are diving beetles. This one I'm really scared of because look how horrifying it is. Ew. With this black scorpion right here, if you pull its tail, you can see it still has its stinger at the end and it's sharp, but they remove the poison so that if you eat it, you don't get poisoned and die. Hey, Tess, where are giant water scorpions from? Bellostomatidae, also known as giant water scorpions, are found throughout the world. They are most prevalent in the tropics. Oh. I hope you like them. Insects can be a great source of amino acids and protein. Bug appetit! So today, we're going to decorate and make these bugs taste good. Because if I'm going to eat these, they at least have to be beautiful and taste better than they do right now. Let's get started. Disclaimer, we specially chose these bugs because they are edible and they are cooked by a professional. Do not go out and find bugs and eat them. So now I'm gonna choose the bugs I'm gonna decorate. This one, because it's huge and it'll be easy to decorate because it has a flat back. And then this... <laughs> This scorpion, I broke its tail. And then we're gonna decorate a diving beetle, worm, a mole cricket, grasshopper, a couple more mole cricket, and a normal cricket. Now we're going to be heating up these candy melts. I'm gonna put these in the microwave for about 30 seconds to heat them up so that they melt. And now we wait. <laughs> Oh, these are hot, so make sure you have an adult with you to handle them and you use an oven mitt so that you don't burn off your fingers. Yay, it's melted. Now that it's melted, take a plastic baggie and open it up. Take the candy melts and we spoon them into this corner, cut it. And what this is gonna do is make a makeshift piping bag. Okay, we're gonna start by drawing a smiley face on its back. Look at that! Doesn't it look delicious now? Then we're gonna do a little zigzag. Then we're gonna do its little hat. Is it she stunning? So I have these candies, and I have this little mustache boy right here. I'm gonna put that right there. Look at that. Look at it. Then we could stick some googly eyes on it. Oh, yes. So now we're gonna decorate the hair. I'm gonna put some stars in it. It looks like she's going to a music festival. Okay, look at that! Wow! Now we're gonna decorate this scorpion. For this, we're gonna go for a more dark look, but we're still using pink because it pops. So we're gonna do a little swirly on the back. I actually don't know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. Now we have these selections of our sprinkles. So I'm gonna choose these big orbs. So now it's got that big textured look on the back. And then we're gonna put a little star in her hair because she's a star. Voila, and there we go. 
Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bunch of these bugs, then we're gonna put them in a row, and all you're gonna do is just lay them out and then swirl back and forth. It makes these really ugly bugs look really pretty. And you could really do this however you want to. And then I'm gonna go with these sprinkles. I'm gonna take the stars and lay that across. And there you go. Now these are looking really good, but you know what I think they need? Chocolate. I have these and I'm just gonna use the same process I used for these to heat these up. I can't see inside of it. Ooh. So we're gonna put that on there, make it nice and delicious. Now we're gonna try some of these bugs. Yay. <laughs> the moment we've been waiting for, the taste test. Taste time. We're gonna start with something small. We're gonna eat this. It's very crunchy. <laughs> it mostly tastes like chocolate with like an undertone of crunchy, salty bug. And then we have this. I think it's a grasshopper, but mostly chocolate now. Tastes like it's mostly chocolate. Kind of like a Kit Kat. So now we're gonna go into this. Giant water scorpion, Lethesurus americanus, AKA toe biter, AKA alligator flea. Diet, amphibians, fish, snails. I'm gonna taste test it. Yeah. Oh my god. It was fine. It tasted just like the other one. And then on top, there is this layer of film. It was clear and it was really thin. And it was just, it wasn't crunchy. It was like squishy. I regret doing that. Well, that was quite the adventure we went on. The first three weren't that bad. They just kind of tasted like a salty Kit Kat. But the giant water scorpion, I don't think I could handle. The real important thing is that I had a lot of fun decorating and you should try these decorating tips at home. And if you don't want to do them on bugs, you can do them on donuts or cookies or desserts. Thanks for watching. Like this video, click the notification bell and comment down below if you would eat any of these bugs. Would you eat a small one or even the giant water scorpion or could you just not do that at all? Thank you so much to Dora and the Lost City of Gold for sponsoring this video. See it in theaters August 9th. Bye. We're onto something big, Dora. An ancient city of gold. This is our chance. We're gonna break some rules. Oh look, Dora brought a knife, everybody. So today we're eating bugs, but don't freak out. I'm a little skeptical. Do not go out and find bugs and eat them. Tastes like it's mostly chocolate.